Hello. Hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good, Good evening. evening. How are you tonight? <clears throat> A little bit sick. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. I don't see Ronald this time, Wendy, Diego, I don't see you. Uh, Ronald, there you are. Wendy and Diego. Okay, welcome to another class, the last class of this week. Okay. <clears throat> how, how are you doing with the platform? Very nice. I have finished the lesson number two. I, I have begun lesson number three. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're yeah. ahead. That's perfect. Yeah. Hey, guys. Good. No more passive voice. I know it's not clear, okay? But uh, you can always practice and review it. We're going to start a new topic. Okay. And the new topic is past continuous with simple past. All right. Supposedly, you already know the structure of the past and you know the structure of past continuous. So this time we're going to put them together. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So here we go. Let's watch and, and listen to the explanation because we're going to practice immediately after. Here we go. Hey everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay there in the explanation and take notes. Past Continuous versus Simple Past Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. <coughs> they went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, oh. negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take note on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure <coughs> for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. 
We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. And that was the explanation of past with past simple in three minutes. Very short. Do you have questions? A lot or not really? Not really, teacher. Not really. It's easy, really? It's easy. Nice. Let me see here. Fast dog is versus simple past. All right, just to. <clears throat> Okay. Well, maybe we don't have anything here. Let me see. Yep, nothing. All right, let's look at one example here. Okay, so there is an action in progress, right? And then the other action interrupts it. Another thing that she mentioned that was important is that you use while with the continuous action and you use when with the action that interrupts it. Okay, so that is something you have to take notes of. The, the action that was in progress is going to be ing, okay, past continuous. And the action that interrupts is going to be past, simple, right? Or simple past. So that's the most important thing. Then you have to think and analyze which one happened first, which one is the one interrupting, and then conjugate it accordingly. Okay, since I want this to be clear, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to send you an exercise before we go to the speaking part, because I don't want you to, I don't want you to speak without practicing first. If you practice, it's gonna be clear and you can see the mistakes if there are any. So we're gonna do a past continuous versus simple past. All right, let me show it to you. We're gonna do this exercise. It's, good. it's not gonna take a long, it's not gonna take long. Um, we can do the first one and the second one together they're 20 okay so we can do two together number one would be what i was sitting uh yes i was sitting in a cafe when when you called me when you called yes this action was in progress this one interrupted and you can check it immediately, okay? One person, if you can, share screen for the others, all right? And you can do it in small groups of three. So we're gonna do this practice before we go to the speaking part of today's lesson. Okay, help me with number two, go ahead. When you arrived. Yeah. Who was there? Who was there? Bin. Who was there? Who was there when you Bin. arrived at the party? Bin. Okay, that is. Oh, yeah. This is this is right. Okay, so in this case, both of them are past. That's the tricky part. Sometimes both are gonna be continuous. Both can be past, and sometimes it's gonna be combined. Okay, so if you have doubts, you can also think about the the sentence and translate it. And then you're going to see it doesn't make sense, or if it does, okay? Ready? Yeah. Yes, any questions before we practice? No? No. Okay. So I'm sending you the link. We are going to work in groups of three. If somebody can, please share screen, and let's work in groups. Here we go.
So accept the invitation, please. Let's do it. Hi, Diego. Diego, can you hear? Hi, do you need help? Can you see my screen? No, it says no. that your internet is slow. Maybe Jacqueline, what are you using? The phone or the computer? The phone teacher. Oh. Okay. Ah, Roberto is sharing. Oh, thanks, Roberto. Great. Yes. The first is it is it will it. Well, the number, number five. Yes. We Okay. We were we were playing tennis when John hurt his uncle. Sure. Uh, yes. Yeah, I have that, the wrong Enter the link. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? Do you need help? I think no. <laughs> For the moment, no. Okay. By the moment, no. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, Siri. Is gray WT? Why WT? Ah, con dos T. Why is it with double T? Sitting. Is that the question? Por qué doble T? Is that the question? No, que se escribe con dos T. Yes. Sí, ah, okay. y siempre que, que tenga esa pregunta es porque los verbos de una sílaba, o sea, solo sit, que terminan en consonante, vocal y consonante, hay que doblar la última consonante. Por eso es sitting or stopping con doble P. Porque termina ah. consonante, vocal, consonante. Y es una, una sílaba. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello. Hey. Yes. The Hello. past are here. Nice. Here. No. Yes. It is irregular. The past is heard. <laughs> oh, do you? Can you spell me here? Yeah. H E A R D. A R D. Yes. Heard. Okay. <laughs> the noise. Okay. Okay. I ah, check. The check. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yesterday, when she she hearing the noise. Remember the interrupting action is gonna be in the past. Yeah. And okay. when you use it with the past and while she, with the yes. 
What were they uh, two? I don't remember. Okay, check. Do you okay. have questions? Number six. No, no, okay. yet, miss. <laughs> okay. What what they do? Okay, what were they were they doing? Two, what they do. what were they doing? Do you, do you. At 10 p.m. last night. Okay. It was really noisy. Do we? At 10, at 10 p.m. last night? Over it here is really what were they doing at 10 p.m. No. last night? Where's playing? Where? Okay. We're playing. Uh huh. We're playing. Uh huh. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. mm, hearts. Uh -huh, playing. We're playing. Okay. Hurt. And the phone, the telephone. Run, run, run. Yes. Check. Okay. He. He was. He was. He was in the was shower. Being, no. He was, he was, no, was no. in the he shower was. when the telephone rang. He was. He was in the only shower. Was. Uh -huh, only was. Yes, only was. Yeah. When the telephone rang. Rang. Mm -hmm. The same. Okay. Oh. Check. Okay. When I was walk. walking. When I walk. walking. When I was. When I was. was walking. No. No. Yes, yes. When I was walking into the when room. When I was, when I was walking, walking. walking. <clears throat> the number nine, the number nine, right? Number nine, uh-huh. Yes. When I was, when I was walk into the room, everybody, everybody was working. Was working, everybody was working. Was working. Checked. The path of the walk is mm, walk. Path of what? Walk. Walk. Walk is regular. You add ed. Okay. Walk. When I when I when, when I, I walked walk, into the room, walk, everybody into was, the room was working. Everybody yeah. was working. Yes. Okay, that's correct. Here is Camila so, and Daniel too. Okay. But Daniel doesn't, he has having a problem with the microphone, I think. Okay. Hello. Hi, Hi. Hi I'm sorry. Hi, Camila. I have Hi, some Camila. problem with, with the computer. Okay, okay no Camila. See. Si. Where are they doing? That's where the where doing. Where they they doing yes. Okay. Where they? Oh uh, yeah. They. What they know? <laughs> oh, they know. What they know? No. No, you cannot say que ellos haciendo. Okay, okay. What's missing? Estaban, eso les falta. Where? Where? Where, yes, eso les falta. Where? Vean dónde lo pueden poner. What, what were they doing? Ring. 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 No. Along. I was I was walking along the street when I met an old friend. Walk. I walk. I walk. I was walking. Yes. Along I the walking. street. 
When I met. When I met. Oh, estaba larga. Oh, oh. When I met a long time. Sang. 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 It's sang. Yes. Oh, oh. The birds sing, sang, song. I don't know. Uh, does the past. Uh, the past is sing? sang. Sing, sang. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's, it's not correct. I don't know. Was. Was sing. Was singing. No, no, no. no. Estaban cantando. Cantaban. Yes, was. Los pájaros cantaban. Entonces son en plural. Only where? No, only sang. No, no, no. Because if you say where's, well, well, I suppose we can use also where singing too. But um, we can use sang only the past, the simple past. But um, there is incorrect. Let's wait for everyone to come back. How was the practice? Easy, piece of cake, easy peasy, difficult, somewhere in between. How was More it? More or less, yes. A, a little, little bit, difficult. A little bit difficult. Okay, no problem. Hey, but not everyone's back yet. Okay, we're coming back, finally. <coughs> Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, is the topic clear? Do you think you can speak now using past and past, past, past continuous? Yeah. You can speak now? Or do you have questions? We can speak now. You can. All right. So, we're going to add something to our answers. I sent the questions to WhatsApp, okay? So you can speak in the past, past continuous, or both. Ideally, both. <coughs> and try to add the following expressions to your answers, okay? This is the only way we can visit. By the way, did you guys do the homework yesterday? Did you do the, the practice, the pronunciation practice of the past? I did it. Yeah. The rules, the rules. I sent the rules, but I also sent an exercise. Yes, yes, yes. You practice that one? Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. I did it. Uh, Walter, Jack. A little, a, a little bit. I don't have a time, but a little you bit. Didn't have time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you did it, connecting the sounds is going to be easy now. But we will see that in a second. Right now, we're going to try using a. Um, we're going to try using these. All right. These expressions. Here we go. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously. Sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately, unfortunately, suddenly. Okay, repeat after me. Coincidentally. 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 Coincidentally, yes. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Fortunately. 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 You're going to say fortunately. 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 Fortun
Miraculously. 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 That sounds good. Okay. Sadly. 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 Strangely. Strangely. Suddenly. Suddenly. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Unfortunately. 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 And teacher, can you repeat me mirac miraculously? Miraculously. Miracul. 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 Miraculously. 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 Yes. And this is unfortunately, unfortunately. 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 Yes. Do you have questions about the meaning? Fortunately is the opposite of unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay, help me out, guys. Is this positive? Negative or neutral? Okay. Neutral. Coincidentally, neutral. Is neutral. 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 Yeah. Neutral. 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 Okay. Neutral. 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 okay. Neutral. Fortunately. The positive. 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 Luckily. Positive. Miraculously. Positive. Positive. Neutral. Sadly. Ne negative. 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 Yeah, miraculously is positive. Okay. Strangely. Strangely neutral. 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 Neutral, right? Neutral. Okay. Neutral. Suddenly. Neutral. Neutral. Negative. Neutral. 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 Surprisingly. Yes. Surprisingly. Uh, positive. 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 Maybe positive. Unexpectedly. Um, neutral. 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 Unfortunately. Negative. 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 Okay. I thought I was saying it. Neutral one. Coincidentally is neutral. Uh -huh. Miraculously, strangely, suddenly is neutral. And unexpectedly, unexpectedly, you think it is neutral? Mm, I think it's negative. I think it's negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Inesperadamente. Of it's course. negative, right? No, it's, it's like a, sur a surprise. No, yeah, it no. could be no, I think no, it, it could be neutral. Yeah, we don't no, it depends on the situation, right? Oh, all right. Unfortunately, it's definitely negative. Okay. Negative. So I think you uh, the the um the meanings are clear. That's great. Okay, so guys, now we have to combine everything. You have to pay attention to the grammar, pay attention to the pronunciation, obviously, and practice your speaking, okay, with this vocabulary. So if you haven't taken notes yet, take a picture, okay, or I'm going to send it to the group because I want you to use these in your answers. So the activity that I sent you before is this one, right? So imagine I'm in a small group with Janet Janita, okay? All right, imagine I ask her, hey, Janet, what were you doing the last time you got a phone call? So this is past continuous and past simple, right? And I have to answer trying to add one of the expressions at the same time. Okay, so what were you doing when you received the call? Okay, I was um, cooking when, surprisingly, my brother called me. Is that clear? Yeah, I got it. Go teach. All right. So answer the questions and try to incorporate the expressions and also okay. try to use the correct grammar. So everything combined, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but you can do it. All right. Questions? <coughs> or are you guys ready? We have to use all the, all the adverbs over there, right? Yeah, add it. At the adverbs. 
Okay, but the most okay. important thing is that you speak using the grammar, not the expressions. They're not the most important thing. Yeah. But try to put them somewhere in the answers in your discussion, okay? I sent them to okay. the group. In. Okay. We're gonna be in groups of three. I cannot monitor everyone, so I would like you to pay attention to your classmates and if they make a mistake, correct them or help them, okay? So if you see somebody using, for example, fast and fast instead of fast and fast continuous, correct them, okay? Or help them, help them express their ideas. Because I want, I want us to take some time to practice. That's the most important part. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. we going to answer using the the adverbs uh, she show us that's right teacher yes some of them <coughs> okay <coughs> donde puedan meterlas metanlas pero lo más importante es que practiquen la gramática speaking with the grammar okay that's the most important thing Okay. Wendy. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. We can start. Okay. I start with. Uh, Share your screen. Yes. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. My computer. Yes. I like can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, My parents. So pressing. What were you, What were you thinking about on the way to this lesson? So so. I was thinking. Eh, eh. Yes. Okay. okay. What were you thinking about one the way of this lesson? Roberto? Or Eli? I was thinking. Mm. I was thinking. La traducción de esa pregunta sería que estabas pensando de esta lección. Camino a esta, a esta clase, quiere decir. Mm. <laughs> ok. Telefónica. Um, I was talking with my wife. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. And... Uh, and I was thinking okay. okay I was thinking about finishing my lesson number two in the platform fortunately it was easy 
and I began the number three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very, Very good. good. <laughs> yes, yes. So, well, okay, let's go to number three. three. Uh -huh. um, my parents were living in San Salvador when suddenly, suddenly, uh -huh. so, yes, suddenly, I was born. Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> All right. Suddenly, I was what? Hey. I was born. Uh, uh, I have example. I De remember. Repente, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, I remember. Uh -huh. like, remember. I remember. I remember when my son was born. Uh huh. Uh, I, I was of the room and suddenly I listened a crying. Ah, okay. I listen I heard. I heard, I heard a cry. I heard a crying. And then I go into the room. I went to the room. Is correct, teacher? Yeah, I went to the room. And, and I saw the baby. I... Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. The number eight, yes. Okay, what was Neil Armstrong doing when he said that one that one is small step for man? Okay, and in that moment, Neil Armstrong went to the moon. <laughs> he was walking on the moon i think because he mm -hmm. was he was the first person fortunately he went he went to the moon mm -hmm. oh. Beautiful. Okay. yes i think so. am i am i come say miracle miraculously miraculously miraculously, <laughs> miraculously. <laughs> yes Miraculous. Uh, miraculous. Number nine. What were okay? Um anything more? I don't know. Okay. I be happy. I be happy because we have we have many things to do <laughs> in this moment. <laughs> yes, and we and we say okay tomorrow no, we don't going going to the was um um unfortunately yeah, only. Okay. That's it. You can say yes. You can say that's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's it. Okay. But uh, the 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 other one, the number ten. It. What were your grandparents or great grandparents doing when World War Two began? I don't know. <laughs> In nineteen forty. No idea. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Coach teacher is here. Yeah. So yeah, teacher, uh -huh. uh, no, I, I was given some uh, ideas how to improve the English for Jacqueline. And I was I was telling her that some of the times uh, the WhatsApp group where where you can uh, record yourself in a in audios it's very helpful because i remember when i was in basic one uh, i was recording myself uh, with different paragraphs and i remember the first audio uh, it was different uh, than when i was uh, when i was recording the number 10 and so i was giving her some ideas how to improve Oh, okay. So I think it's very helpful. Yeah, 
teacher, de hecho, eso le quería yes. preguntar. De, eso, de hecho, eso le quería preguntar y yo le digo a mis compañeros de que yo, yo sé que tengo capacidad y, y conocimiento, pues, porque yo lo sé, pero en el momento en que yo voy a hablar, no sé si me da, no sé, como nerviosismo, pero yo sé lo que quiero decir y tengo las palabras, pero no puedo, teacher. Entonces, es que más que, que todo, como consejo para agarrar fluidez. Ajá. Ajá, como cuando queremos hablar, ¿verdad? Como que, uh, nos ponemos. Ah, okay, pero terminaron las preguntas, ¿no? Sí. Yes. Ah, ok, yes, we're ready, finish. Bueno, eso que dice Ronald tiene razón. Lo que pueden hacer es poner un video con subtítulos y estar repitiendo, pausando y repitiendo. La gente no cree en esa metodología para aprender y mejorar un idioma, pero le funcionó a Ronald y a mí en portugués me funcionó eso. Más que las clases a veces, el estar repitiendo, Before. escuchar, repetir, escuchar, repetir, porque como uno empieza a hablar rápido, mejora la fluidez. Y obviamente ir anotando palabras nuevas. Yes, teacher. Ajá. Y, y da nervios porque sienten que no tienen todo el vocabulario. Y la verdad es que no deberían. En intermedio todavía no lo tienen todo. Les falta el preavanzado, el avanzado. Entonces ahí van a sentirse más seguros. En este momento están limitados un poco. Pero con lo que tienen pueden ser fluidos ya. Yes, teacher. Entonces, si todos los días okay. se ponen a repetir 15 minutos, un video va a cambiar bastante. Mm -hmm. en, el, en el primer día van a notar la diferencia. Y de hecho, teacher, bueno, todo lo que yo consumo es en inglés. Y yo sé que eso me ha ayudado bastante. Pues. Más que todo siento a que es personal, es como inseguridad. Es Ajá. que le ha ayudado a su comprensión, pero si usted no repite o no habla, no va a mejorar eso. Entonces no solo escucha, sino que escucha y vaya repitiendo todo. Vaya, a su teacher. cerebro, esta práctica que estamos teniendo, al, al, al cerebro le ayuda, pero le ayuda también que usted hable. Lo toma como práctica, como si estuviera practicando con otra gente. Así que bueno, pueden okay, A ver. Thank you, teacher. All right. My teacher, pleasure. I want, I want to say some. Yeah, go ahead. About your video. Ah, okay. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> Very good. Oh, thank you. Um, um, follow, follow you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started that recently, like two weeks ago. I started with Instagram and TikTok. And in the yes. past, I, I started the YouTube channel like two years ago, but I didn't continue with YouTube. But yeah, uh, I will. I have more videos that I need to upload. They're going to help you with pronunciation or, or phrases too. Okay. All right, let's go back. Here we are. Did you finish all the questions? Yes, ma'am. Was yes. difficult. It was difficult. <laughs> oh, a little bit. Some questions were difficult because yeah. you didn't know the answers to them. But that was the problem. Okay, but um, if we have time, we can practice this topic with easier questions. All right. Very good. Um, now, this is what I promised. I said that if you practice the ED sound, we were going to connect them today. But help me out, okay? What is the pronunciation of booked in the past? Is it at booked, the, or id? Booked. It's T. T, T, because the K is not. It's no it private, vibrate. vibrate. Yeah. Okay, yes. so this is ID. pronounced T, no T, because the last of that ED solo es, ID solo es para los que ya terminan en TWND. En su forma base. En pasado todos terminan en D. <laughs> en yes. su forma base, okay. So this is booked. Very good. What is, how do you pronounce the past of visit? Little D. Visited. We have to add the extra syllables. So this is going to be. O sea, esto no se pronuncia nunca, acuérdense. Okay, this is no. going to be visited. Id. 
finishing T or D. Bezered. Then you add the extra syllable. Solo ahí no siempre como lo estamos haciendo. Okay. Look, the last sound is K. Sí. Vibrate, so look. it's gonna be look. 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 look, 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 okay, there it is, okay, look, look. What, how do you pronounce the Fausto show, the last sound is show, show. That's, show. Right? Show. that's right, so it's gonna be <laughs> show, 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 okay, the last sound is no vibration. No vibration. Si alguien se perdió la clase ayer, eh, ahí mandé las reglas. Okay. To the group. I sent them in, in English. Okay. Yes. The task of work. Yeah. Last sound of work is what? Work. Worked. No. Work. 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 T because Worked. it's not the vibration. No, the last sound of work is? Work. Work. Worked. Work. 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 Okay, so it's gonna be a T because doesn't vibrate. Work. What is the last sounding ask? Ask. 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 No. Ask. La pronunciación debe no. ¿Cuál es el último sonido del verbo ask? That's the ask. question. What is the last sound of ask? No vibration. Uh, no vibration. Ask. Ask. No vibration. It's gonna be a T. No vibration. T. Boil. What's the last That's sound still. of boil? Boil. Um, D, 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 D. D. Because it D. does have vibration. Boil. It has vibration. Boil. 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 No vibration. Develop. Vibration. No vibration. Develop. Now. We're gonna connect it and it has to sound loud and clear, okay? So okay. we're gonna say um, <laughs> book ta, okay? Ta, book ta, book ta, room, book ta room, okay? Oops. Here we're gonna say visited a visited. In American English, when you have D or T between vowels, the tendency is that you're going to pronounce them as an R. Esta T está entre vocales y esta D está entre vocales. Las dos son eres in American English, okay? So, Vesera, Rira, Vesera, So, when I connect this one and this one, it's going to sound dap, right? Dap. He show dap. 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 Show 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 el, el sonido que aprendimos. Show that. They. Hey, yes, it is. Top ten. <laughs> yes, Stop. I know. Yeah. T. Because it's T. So yeah. Stop. Yeah. Uh, this one is Stop. 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 Yeah, the thing is that look, day, right. this and this intervocales, o sea, rodeadas de vocales se pronuncian como R in, in American English, okay? T y D, yes. Las T y D, uh -huh. rodeadas de vocales, okay? Rayan. So look, around 8 a.m. A. Around 8 a.m., okay? ¿Cómo? Acuérdense que hablábamos de sonidos, no de escritura, entonces como la G y la H no suenan, Deireya. Deireya. Esta está entre vocales. Entonces, Deireya. 
No, porque viene la D de la round. Atrás. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eh, you can do it. You can do it. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't get frustrated. Okay. Work done. Okay. Work done. Work done. Work work I worked on. Yes. Asta. Ah, worked on. Asta question. Asta. Asta. Asta question. Boil down. Boil down. Boil down. The boiled down egg. No, todo junto. Boil down egg. Boil down egg. Boil down. Boil down. Boil down. Boil down. And in Spanish, too, right? We developed that. This is developed. Developed a new system. Developed a new system. Right, repeat with me. Unmute. Okay. Okay. So let's silence the microphones and repeat with me. They booked a room. They booked a room. Okay. Next. Microphones. Unmute. I visited a museum. Visited a museum. <laughs> I visited, visited a museum. Todos en mute. En mute, en mute. Solo voy a ver que se mueven las bocas, pero no voy a escuchar, ¿ok? They, I visited a museum. We looked around the room. We looked around the room. He showed up early. He showed up early. Rap, rap. Okay. He showed up early. Porque es U y A son sonidos de vocal. Es una R, okay? Showed up early. They stopped at around 8 a.m. They stopped at around 8 a.m. Stop, stop that, that around. Ahí le faltó la T. They stop that around 8 a.m. Stop that, that, that around. They stop that around 8 a.m. <laughs> okay, chino. Okay. <laughs> I worked on the weekend. Worked on, okay. I worked on the weekend. I asked the question. I asked the question. She boiled an egg. She boiled an egg. We developed a new system. We developed a new system. Developed that. Okay. All right. You guys can come back. All right. Is it difficult? No? A little bit. No. A little bit. I need more practice. It's interesting. Okay. Let's do bit. something. Somehow. Okay. I'm going to send you the picture of this. And if you want to, I'm yeah. going to check five at least. All right. If you want to <coughs> practice, practice a lot right now. And finally, when you feel confident, when you feel confident, send a voice note. To the group okay okay but right now do it right now after class practice a lot like five times and then send it to the group and see how you do okay all right thank you very much i will see you on monday and i hope you have a beautiful weekend thank you have a good weekend okay. bye bye, okay. bye. 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 see you monday